What's up guys, welcome back to today's video. We're starting the day off at Elite Finish. We're gonna go in and get an update on the Uricon. They've made a lot of progress, let's go check it out. So one thing that I had thought about for the longest time is I thought that yellow headlights would look really good on this car just because of the British racing green and gold vibe. Wes overnighted some yellow tin film. I caught a lot of flack from you guys on Instagram. I mentioned it. No one thought it would look good. So we're gonna test the theory right now. You wanna lay down the film let's just see how it looks. For some reason, I just have an obsession with yellow and green being paired together. So I think it will look good. It looks good on the badge, so let's throw down the headlight and just see how it looks. All right, so leave your comments down below. Do we like the yellow? Here's a compare right here. OEM yellow. I think the yellow looks really good. The only thing I'm worried about is that when you look at it from the angle where you see the champagne in the yellow, I'm a little bit on the fence about it. But from the beginning, I always thought this would look good. I think we're gonna go ahead and just tint both of them yellow. This is like a two minute job if we wanted to switch it when we take delivery of the car after it leaves the late finish. I really like it. I think we're gonna throw it on there just because, but leave a comment down below. Yellow headlights or clear headlights. Also, they just finished up these calipers. They just wrapped them in gloss white. This is Wes's new thing they'll do here. <laughs> so if you want to get your calipers wrapped, I'm just playing. We are going to change the paint calipers. We were actually behind the scenes throwing on some different types of vinyl to kind of get a, a brief idea of what color change we wanted to do. I'll be honest, I did not want to go white. I actually, we tried silver, we thought we were doing black, we thought we were doing paint match, but when we started to see them, we didn't really like them. So Wes threw on this gloss white. You can kind of get a slight idea of what it looks like, although it's not perfect, and I like it. I think this is the best color, so we're gonna go ahead, paint the calipers white, the internet wins, you guys win, everyone wanted this. 85% of the comments wanted white, so we're gonna go ahead and get that done here at Elite Finish. It was really great to get an update on the Lambo. Right now, we are at a place called Fun Bike Center. We are gonna pick up some parts for the UTV, hopefully score some extra parts for the pit bike that we were missing yesterday. Fingers crossed I have our stuff. Let's go ahead and check it out. I came in here for just one thing, but then I found a bunch of other things, and some other things, and some other things. I'll give you guys a tour when we get home. So unfortunately, some of the stuff actually wasn't in stock. They were missing a couple adapter brackets for some of the things that I want to buy for the Razor. But one of the things I'm super excited about and that I realized that I needed was these little whips. These are pretty much flag poles that you have to put on the back of the Razor to make it legal and out of the desert. And what's cool about these ones is these ones are completely light up. So when we go out driving at night, these little light up whips, you can make them be whatever color you want and they have the flags on the end of it. So I was able to pick some of these up, which are super awesome. And got a fire extinguisher. We only have one of the brackets. They had to order a second one that will hopefully be in tomorrow morning so we can get that. I get it, erectile dysfunction is not an easy thing to talk about, but it doesn't have to be uncomfortable with Roman. With Roman, you guys can get a free online evaluation for erectile dysfunction and ongoing care, all from the comfort of your own home. You don't need to go to a doctor's, you don't need to go anywhere, or even pick a prescription from any certain place. You can get everything delivered to you and chat with someone online about whatever it is that you're struggling with, all from the comfort of your own home. When you go to GetRoman.com forward slash TJ, a US licensed healthcare professional will meet with you and find the best treatment plan possible for you. And if medication is appropriate, Roman will give you free two-day shipping. The whole process is discreet, straightforward, and very easy. Head over to GetRoman.com forward slash TJ where you can get $15 off your first month and free two-day shipping. Thank you so much, Roman, for taking care of the boys and for sponsoring today's video. And now let's get back to it. And then as I said in yesterday's video, I was missing filter oil and now I got some filter cleaners and it's pretty much got some stuff that I need for all the bikes that I don't have at all. Chain wax, chain cleanup, multi-purpose lube, all that type of stuff. Kind of just stocking up on the home garage because we don't really work out of here too often. So some of this stuff I just need to start buying and oops. Some of the stuff I need to start buying so we always have it. We don't need to go searching for parts and all that type of stuff. There were a lot of comments that you wanted to test fit. So today we're gonna test fit the Blitz on the FD, and we're also gonna throw it on the Mark IV. We're gonna split them up. We're gonna do one side on here, one side here, compare and contrast, and just see how they look. And who knows, maybe if they're phenomenal, we might rock it for a bit. Moment of truth for the first one. Rub a band, see how this looks. Rub a band. I don't know if it'll fit. Oh, you're in there. What kind of, why don't you run rubber bands? Rubber bands. Red 
pitch. Oh, am I hitting the brake? Oh. Hit the brake. Hits my brake. Oh, it does a little bit. Ah! No, it does completely. It's why I'm shocked. Oh, dad. So this is actually... That's a problem. Well, it's a problem, one. These wheels aren't for this car. But when it comes to Blitz 03s, I told you about this, I don't know if you remember. When it comes to faces, these are 17 faces, there's three different types of faces. You have a low, a medium, and a high. They're pretty much all different for brakes. So you have the high offset for your front brakes and you have the low offset for the rear brakes. This, I think, is a low and it needs a medium to fit this brake setup. Oh. Brakes are too big. So this face won't work with this, because this, this is a 17 face, There's remember? There's no way they're gonna... The Supra doesn't even have brakes. Look at the Supra. Supra has like nothing. This should fit the Supra, but it won't fit the FD. I don't think it'll fit the front of the Supra, because you have Brambeezies. No, I don't. No, the Supra's completely stopped. Oh, really? These are upgraded. Why didn't we do the Brambeezies? Well, that's one, it's funny you say that, because everyone in the comments is like, I've been talking about getting brakes on the Supra for the longest time, and I just haven't done it, and we mm. need it desperately. It's like the fastest car with the worst brakes. I, I'll do it eventually. Okay, one day. I know everyone in the comments is going to be like, yeah, why don't you do it one day? I know the feeling. Yeah, you definitely do. I know the feeling. Okay, well, Rip, let's just, let me just see what it looks like. Oh, but it would have looked good. Could you? It, it would have looked so good. Oh. Uh, Please don't put more silver wheels on your cars, Steve. Dude, that would have looked hot. All right, I'll try the fronts now. We'll see if that works. Zero shot. TJ Calvin doesn't try the front. Calvin doesn't think it will fit. These are, I don't know if you can tell on video, the fronts are much larger than the rears. There's no shot. Calvin is installing the light poles or the light whips on the Razor and he just found a Hunt Co. flag. <laughs> so we found a flag and Calvin just attached it and he's super hyped on it. Hey, it looks really good though. Look at it. Imagine going 60 miles per hour. <gasps> it may not have worked on the RX-7 but I have hope for the Supra. Moment of truth, Calvin. We got a success, brother. Success. success. Tons of clearance. Mega amount of clearance. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of room in this. Moment of truth. Can I turn the Supra into a hot boy? Oh, I think she's going to work. It's going to be tight, though. It's for sure looking tight. It fits, it fits. Yes, yeah, so this is the high face. So you have a lot, a lot of uh, clearance in between the brake setup, the rotor, the caliper, and the pad of the wheel. I know this ride height is gonna look super weird because these are on like rubber band tires and we were originally on a very, very meaty Falcon setup. So let's see how it looks. Oh, it looks horrible. It, it looks so bad. When we originally had a good fitment, we lost it all in these stupid rubber bands. That's what happens when you go from a 2.4, this is a 2.45 in there. No, wait, this is a 2.15 in the rear. Am I, am I a stupid dumb? There's no way that rear's a 215. Did I grab the wrong wheel? 215, I thought that was a 245. 215. No way. Wait, they're all 215s? We have a 35 in the front and we have a 40 in the rear. Dude, is this a 40 in the rear? I guess it's gotta be, let me see. That is the 40. Oh, Randy, what the hell? So this is a 215 compared to a 295. Wow. Well, it's 295, 40. 
to a 215.40. Yeah, boys, I'm turning in my performance for just the hot boy look, you know? So if you were to really run this, you'd have to lower your car three fingers. And when you lower it three fingers, you're like touching the ground. So then you have to go crazy stance and it just ruins the whole, I, mean, I guess people are into it. I'm personally not, but I don't even know if, I guess it does look pretty good. It looks good for sure, but definitely not my style. Okay, in all seriousness, these wheels do not look nearly as good as I thought they would on this car. It would look a lot better if it had proper tires on there that didn't leave such a crazy wheel gap. But it does make me wonder what these wheels originally came off of because before these were mine, they were Randy's. And before they were Randy's, they were someone else's. As I said in yesterday's video, JDM 90s cars pretty much all have pretty similar fitments, meaning you could run these on the RX-7 and it would probably fit just like this, maybe a little bit different, and on an S14, which is what these originally came off of. These would actually fit that car pretty well. These wheels are actually for my S14, but we're gonna be changing them just a little bit just because I don't wanna have to run a 295 on the back of this 10 and a half inch barrel. We're gonna want something that's a little more appropriate for drifting and for street driving, so we'll get to that later down the year. But just the way this matches up, it's actually pretty insane. If this had a proper set of tires on there, it would look so much better. The front's a little aggressive, but still, if you wanted to, you could easily make that work and just give it a little bit more camber. Unfortunately, today's video is not gonna be as long as I like to make them, but, but I wanna give you guys a heads up for the winter collection coming up, it's gonna be December 1st, and we're gonna be having a very, very special giveaway. I'm not gonna tell you about it quite yet. I think in the next video, I'll tell you guys about it. But remember, December 1st, big giveaway coming up. I think a lot of you guys are gonna enjoy it. I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek at some of the stuff coming up. We really haven't made a lot of hats lately, and we finally have five bangers coming out. These hats are a little bit normal than normal. These are made out of nylon, so the fit is a little bit different. It's a little bit lighter of a material and a little bit more flexible, but I just think they hold their color and they look a lot better over time. We have two colorways. We have the black with white. We have the bright blue. Is it? This is definitely a look. I love this a lot. Then we have three different colorways, which is our signature series. Probably my all-time favorite. On camera, this looks more dark blue, but it's actually more vibrant. It's like the same color as the Uricon. British Racing Green, gold font, big power move, black with blue. Conan, what do you think about it? You like it? I thought so. And then we have the off-white. It's almost like an eggshell, like a cream with the red. Just money moves. Now, a lot of these match the colorways on the sweatshirts. A lot of that stuff I'll start showing you guys over the next couple days. But just look at these stickers too. I've really tried to listen to you guys and a lot of you guys have been asking for different slap stickers. So we have multiple different slap stickers and then all these holographic colorways. I think these came out so dope and they all match. You have the green and gold, black and green. I can't even tell. That's just black and hollow. Red and gold. Everything kind of matches this drop and I'm super excited about it. December 1st. Don't forget it. Set your alarms now. But I want to say thank you guys for watching another daily vlog. My family is actually coming into town today. They're gonna be here in like 30 minutes. So I'm kind of shutting the day down a little bit early and I have the whole rest of the day, which is only like, you know, it's five o'clock right now, but I'm gonna be shutting it down, hanging out with them. And then Thanksgiving is coming up this weekend. So you're probably not gonna get, a, you're probably not gonna get a video for Thanksgiving, but you guys should be hanging out with friends and family or just enjoying yourself that day. You should be off your phones, be off the internet and enjoy the day. So I'm not gonna upload that day, but we're going to the desert this week. And I saw some comments in yesterday's vlog. You guys are hyped to see us go to the desert again. I cannot wait. I'll see you guys then. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out and keep moving forward.